Extensions are a really awesome part of Twitch that allow you to do a lot for your channel, whether it's improve the experience for your viewers, add some new sweet features, implement things that are relating to your games that you're playing. A lot of really cool things. We'll go over a couple of them and I'll show you the ones that I personally use on my channel. Hey, what's up everybody, Kadek here, and today we're gonna go over extensions. Now, I've used extensions quite a bit over the last couple of years. I've really enjoyed them. I use a mix of game-specific extensions. I use some panel extensions. And then I use some extensions that allow you to do things with bits and uh, stuff like that. Now, a lot of people who start streaming don't even know that extensions exist until they kind of, you know, look around on their dashboard and find something. But we'll go over a bunch of extensions, the different types of extensions, and then again, the ones that I personally use myself. Now to get to your extensions, just go ahead and click your picture up at the top right hand corner, go down to your creator dashboard, and then from here you can go ahead and go to extensions. Now there are tons of extensions, uh, like, like I mentioned there's extensions for games, there's extensions that allow you to do countdowns for your next stream. Um, there are ones for loyalty and recognition, streamer tools, engagement, all kinds of stuff. Now, the ones that I feel like people are most likely to use are the ones that are actually extensions for their games. Things like Path of Exile, Jackbox, World of Warcraft, Destiny. Chances are, if you're playing a, you know, slightly larger game, um, search for it in the extension list, and if you find something, use it. Uh, they're really awesome. So here, for example, let's say Destiny 2, right? So there's a Destiny armor overlay, uh, there's the Destiny official extensions. Um, if you do something like World of Warcraft, right, you get the armory, you get a whole bunch of stuff. There's there's really an extension for almost every game you can think of, even ones like Call of Duty. So now what a lot of these game extensions do is it'll show your audience, your character, and items that you have in game. So it'll show like your inventory, your skills, a bunch of stuff like that, depending on what game you're playing. There are other ones though, like the Borderlands extension, which allow your viewers to directly interact with your game. Now, Baldur's Gate 3 is one that's coming up where viewers are gonna be able to actually influence the decisions that your characters make in the game, which is really, really cool. Uh, and Borderlands allows you to actually like level up enemies in the game to play against your uh, streamer, which is really fun and really cool. One of my One of my viewers did it a lot while we were playing Borderlands. And it was a lot of fun, Borderlands 3 specifically, um, and it made things really interesting and it made a little bit more of an interaction between me and that viewer, which was really nice. Now, if you use things like Streamlabs and Stream Elements, they also have their own extensions, which are some really cool expandability options that show a bunch of information. I'll show you the Stream Elements one that I have on my channel, um, but while we're at it, let's go ahead and look at the extensions that I personally use. So as you can see here, I have four extensions active and I have a bunch of them installed. Um, and there are three different types of extensions. So there are panel extensions, overlay extensions, and component extensions. So the panel extensions do exactly that. They are a panel within your About Me section. I'll show you what those look like. The overlay ones are ones that you will see actually on a screen. So if you've ever watched someone who has the Twitch Prime um, reminder, basically, you'll see a little icon in the right hand corner that'll show, hey, you have your Twitch Prime available, do you want to use it on this streamer kind of thing. Um, and then the components are things that aren't physically available anywhere, but they allow um, some kind of interaction with the stream. So for example, the sound alerts one that I have here allows people to use their bits to play sounds. So instead of just donating bits and nothing really happening other than a regular alert, they can use their bits and they can choose a specific sound to play on my stream. Now, we'll go over the ones that I have. Like I mentioned, I have the sound alerts, which I've customized to allow people to play different sounds with bit donations. I have the Prime Subscription and Loot Reminder. Um, this is really nice. It just reminds people that they have Twitch Prime and if they haven't used it and they wanna use it on me, then why not? Um, the Stream Elements leaderboard is really nice. I'll show you what that looks like. It basically gives a bunch of stats from Stream Elements and it also shows my stream schedule, so that's really cool. And then I have the Teespring merch store, which will show my merch items on my panels. 
So there is a limit to how many extensions you can have active at any time. So you can have three panel extensions active, one overlay extension active, and two component extensions active at any time. You can deactivate and reactivate them at any time, and you can rotate them through depending on what games you're playing, for example. But you do have to keep that in mind. It'll tell you when you try to activate an, an extra one on top of those limits that you're going to have to deactivate one of the others. So if we go to my channel here and then we go to the About section, you can see the Teespring Merch Store extension. Um, and it just shows some of the products from my Merch Store here that you can kind of browse through and take a look at, which is really nice. Um, it just allows people to really know that I even have this available. And if people want to buy merch, then they're more than welcome to, but they're not forced to, and I don't really push it on anybody. Um, I do just let them know that it is available. And then as I mentioned, the Stream Elements uh, extension is really cool. It actually has a whole bunch of different elements to it. So by default, I have it on the countdown, so it counts down until my next stream. But it'll also show people who are leaders on my loyalty points um, currently and all time people who have cheered the most, um, longest subscribers, people who have gifted the most. It'll show a bunch of chat stats, like who messages the most often. Um, and then it'll also show the location of a bunch of different viewers while the stream is active. So as I mentioned, extensions are just a really great way to add more functionality to your stream, whether it's improving interactivity with your viewers or providing some kind of information I think they're really nice to have. They don't really take very long to set up. And I do feel like they're very much worth uh, putting in that little bit of time. I hope you found this video helpful. And if you did, I'd really appreciate it if you liked, subscribe. If you have any questions, comments, or feedback, feel free to leave those down below. All of these things really do help out my videos and I very much appreciate all of them. As always, I stream on Twitch from Friday until Tuesday. Come check me out and say hello. Love to see everybody there. I love it when people come over from the YouTube videos and say hi. If you want to ask any questions there while I'm live, I'm more than happy to try to answer them as quick as I can. Thanks again for watching the end of the video. Stay safe out there and I'll see you next Friday.